Hey everyone, it's Erin, and uh, just doing a quick video to show you Threadsy. Now, a lot of you have asked me about it, and uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video, so I thought this was a perfect video to do. I'm going to keep this really, really quick. This is the um, fast overview of Threadsy. So Threadsy.com um, is currently in private beta. However, if you want an invite code, just send me a tweet to at Erin Blasky, E-R-I-N, B-L-A-S-K-I-E, and I'll hit this little button, invite 10 friends, and you'll be able to um, grab uh, an invite from that particular link when I tweet it. So Threadsy basically brings together your Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail into one service, and you can also add multiple um, Twitter profiles, multiple, actually I think it's just one Facebook profile right now. Um, Actually, no, I think it's one Gmail profile, and uh, you can add maybe multiple Facebook profiles. Okay, I should have probably checked before I said that, but uh, in any case, you can add multiple accounts. You can see here on the right side, I've got uh, my Facebook, I've got, and then four Twitter accounts. So I've got my primary, I've got one for enthusiasm, one for um, Get Bonus Partners, and one for BSCTC. On the left side over here, you'll see that this is where my tweets show up. So as I, my tweets are received in my Facebook statuses or my Facebook messages or whatever's coming in, it will pop up here on the left side. I can at any time also click this inbound button and it will load up all of the, uh, the, the, the tweets and the Facebook statuses that I haven't seen yet. So why use this, right? So like, as you know, there's tons of these tools. There's, um, you know, TweetDeck, there is uh, Twitter on the web, there is, uh, Tweety, Twitterific, I mean there's all kinds of different applications that you can use to look at this sort of stuff. And the reason I use Threadsy is because of this this one thing. I, I, I know this is going to sound really silly, but because of the quick archive function, I can actually archive tweets that I've responded to. So this starts to act, instead of just like a reader, um, it acts like a, an actual inbox and because it's online you're just getting one view all the time so for example in TweetDeck if I load up if I load up TweetDeck at any given time on a computer let's just say on my Mac and I'm you know reading through my tweets and I respond to some and let's just say for some reason that I my computer shuts down and then I load it up again and I load TweetDeck it's actually going to load all of the tweets that, that it loaded before, whether I've responded to them or not. Also, um, in TweetDeck, there is the, uh, the possibility, but it's also something you don't want to happen, of marking them all as red and um, archiving them all. Here, you really can't. You have, you have to be very deliberate. You can select them, you can do things like that, but it has to be more deliberate. When, if you have your email coming in here, you can actually respond to um, emails straight from, from inside of here uh, as well. I don't use it for email. I'm just using it just for Twitter and Facebook right now. But I love it because, like I said, once I'm done responding to a tweet, I can mark it as red. No matter where I open Threadsy on any browser, I get the same view. So that means if unless I've archived it, I know I still have to respond to it. Um, you can do the same things. You can tr you can delete tweets. You can um, star them as a favorite, archive them. Um, you, this is how you reply, and then you can retweet it. Uh, on the left, on the right hand side, it also shows you um, some of the latest tweets in my tweet stream, so I can look at those. Uh, I can also look at people, so I can look at a specific person like this. Um, and uh, or what I can do too is I can switch accounts and. Um, reply from different accounts or reply to multiple accounts or from multiple accounts by just selecting more than one profile. So again, the biggest reason I love Threadsy and I use it, number one, it's web-based, so no matter which computer I'm on, no matter where I am, I can open it up, see my tweets that I haven't yet read or responded to, and I can archive tweets, which is, which is like I said, just the greatest thing for me. So um, I know a couple people said that they don't like it because you can't pull up lists and things like that, but it is in beta, so there's a lot of things coming out. They also have an um, app for the iPhone coming out and an app for the iPad, for those of you that are planning on getting an iPad. Um, they've got those coming out as well. So this is Threadsy, threadsy.com, and again, if you need um, an, an invite, just send me a tweet at Aaron Blasky, and I'm happy to, uh, to get you one.